the 1900 block of Washington South Road in Washington Township just after 1 this afternoon. Fire crews spent hours battling the flames and had to call for mutual aid from several nearby fire departments. Jackie Sprague is live with an update in your top story at 10. Well, firefighters have now cleared the scene here at the Lake Washington condominium complex. There is extensive damage to the building behind me. It's unlivable right now. So that's why the Red Cross is stepping in to help those families who lived here. People comfort one another as they watch their homes burn. The Lake Washington condominium complex went up in flames Sunday afternoon just after 1. We've seen the flames shooting out the middle of it, and um, the smoke is what brought us over. We were shocked and just hoping everybody got out okay. Firefighters arrived on scene to find two people trapped inside. A woman was rescued from a balcony by ladder. A man was in an upstairs stairwell and had to be pulled from the burning building. Investigators say both were taken to the hospital with smoke inhalation and burns. A firefighter also became ill and had to be taken to the hospital. Investigators say all are expected to be okay, but many pets are still missing. This woman was reunited with her dog after firefighters found him. It's okay, baby. There are 12 units in the building, but one is vacant. Investigators believe the fire started in one of the middle condos. Early reports from what we can determine is it was possible grease fire on a stove. Might have been a cooking fire. Investigators say five of the condos were destroyed. The others have heavy smoke and water damage. So the Red Cross is offering assistance to those who need it. Normally after a local disaster like a house fire, we'd uh, put people up in a hotel room, offer up food and sometimes clothing as needed. Now, the state fire marshal has been called in to investigate as well. Property damage is estimated to be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Reporting live in Washington Township, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.